And if you do, a great reward will be there for you and for me. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your attendance. I said I was only going to come and talk for five minutes. May Allah bless you. Assalamu alaikum. I love you Muslims. Let's show our love for our leader and teacher. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. All praise is due to Allah for the honorable Louis Farrakhan. Let him hear his brothers and sisters. Give him a hand. This is our champion. This is our leader and guide. The black man. God's divine reminder. He's here in New York. This is the man. This is the man. This is the one. We need not look for another. All praise is due to Allah for this day. The Honorable Louis Farrakhan. He has returned home to Harlem, Mosque Number 7, the place of his spiritual birth. He is with us. He loves us and we love him. He's our champion and our friend, the Honorable Louis Farrakhan. Let's hear it for him one more time. The Honorable Louis Farrakhan. All praise is due to Allah for that black man and for each and every one of you. This is a great day, New York. This is the day when our leader and teacher has come home to grace us with his divine presence and this wonderful teaching that we have heard today. Look at the Honorable Louis Farrakhan, the messenger of Allah said, everywhere you see him, look at him. Everywhere you hear him, listen to him. Everywhere he tells you to go, go. And everywhere he tells you to stay from, stay from. We are forever thankful for our minister Farrakhan. He's here today, Harlem. He is home and we are so thankful to Allah. We are thankful to Allah for this message. All praise is due to Allah. It's going to be all right now. Assalamu alaikum. The Honorable Louis Farrakhan. Give yourselves a hand, brothers and sisters. This has been a wonderful afternoon. Has this been a wonderful afternoon? Are we ready to take Harlem and New York City and raise the dead? All praise is due to Allah. We might be able to squeeze Baltimore in here, brother. Goes out now. Because after the Honorable Louis Barcon speaks, there ain't nothing to be said. Is that right or wrong? But we have a dear. We didn't allow him to do his thing in New York. Before he came out here, he was in my office searching for the stone. Boy, and he started hitting up something. I said, brother, what are you doing? He said, this is New York, isn't it? This is Harlem, isn't it? Well, if this is Harlem and this is Mosque number seven, then it must be the Apollo of the Nation of Islam. Let's hear from Brother Jamil Muhammad, the minister of Mosque number six in Baltimore, Maryland, as he will help us close out our meeting. Everyone, please remain seated so we can go out in prayer. Brother Minister Jamil Muhammad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> alaikum. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, to whom all praise is due forever. And I bear witness that the most honorable Elijah Muhammad is the risen and exalted Christ of the scripture. 
and further that the Honorable Louis Farrakhan is the messenger of Allah in our midst, yes, 1993. Right. In their names I greet you, my beloved brothers and sisters, with the greetings of peace and paradise of Isa Alaikum. Yes, yes, Brother Conrad, this is a setup. <laughs> It's a setup. It's just a cold setup. It may all in the spirit of Allah be taught by the messenger of Allah in the presence of the people of Allah at high noon in the day of Allah. I can't be in no spirit but to help the people of Allah do what Allah tells us to do. Is that right? So I don't have no compunction about asking you what you know I'm getting ready to ask you. Is that right? I'm happy to be in New York. Yes, sir. Happy to see you. I'm happy to be. I just said, happy, happy, happy. Yeah. Happy, happy to see you. I feel good. good. Yes, sir. If this floor wasn't carpeted, I would tap dance up there. <laughs> but brothers and sisters, I want to say this in all seriousness and sincerity, that New York, and your rise, and the kind of spiritual power and energy that was in this room today, is awaited not just in the five boroughs of New York City. It's not awaited just in the metro New York area or even in the mid-Atlantic region or on the eastern seaboard. This spirit is awaited all over the world because this city is the heart of the nation of Islam. This city, New York, when I first came to New York, I'm telling you this only as a way of an anecdote and moving straight to the point. But when I came to New York as a young college student trying to help the Honorable Louis Farrakhan rebuild the nation of Islam without having had the experience of being in the mosque prior to 1975, I was almost awestruck, awestricken by the enormity of the task yeah. of rebuilding the nation of Islam and I would come to Harlem on the train and get up on the subway and ride the train up to 116th and Lenox and come up the staircase with a camera. Come on. And take pictures of Muhammad Mas number seven, which at that time had already begun, in my opinion, to deteriorate in its physical plan. But I was moved by the fact that all of this had been done from Harlem, New York, and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that Harlem is the heart of the nation. Yes, sir. That as goes New York, so goes the nation. Yes, the headquarters is number two in Chicago, but number seven is the heart. And nobody can function with just a head, it needs a heart. And nobody can function with only a heart, it must have a head to guide the heart. Well, the head was here today. The head just left this rostrum. The head has given guidance to the heart, and I feel a thumping heartbeat. It's not like Bill, ha Bill Cosby talking about the chicken heart. It's not that kind of a thumping beat. I'm talking about the thumping beat of the life pulse of activity, energy, drive, spirit, and the motivation to put New York on top where she belongs. New York should be on top where she belongs. New York. I said New York should be on top where she belongs. Give yourself the hand you deserve for putting yourself on top where you belong. All praise is due to Allah. Now, brothers, I don't want y'all moving around too much. Some folk think that they can come to the meeting and this ain't part of the meeting. They think this isn't the spiritual part. Well, this is just the charity. No, just the charity. You heard the Honorable Louis Farrakhan a few moments ago say that the charity is a way of securing your tether. Is that right? Securing your chain that links you in faith to Almighty God Allah who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. Huh? So we need not only to pray, but to give in charity and not to give with a lukewarm, tepid, non-committal spirit. That's right. But we need to give in charity with full energy and just give until it hurts. That's right. That's right. Oh, I said give until it hurts. I'm quoting two great scholars and scientists when I say that. I'm quoting Millie Jackson and Betty Wright. Millie Jackson said it hurt so good. Uh, yes, y'all, don't act like you don't remember Millie Jackson. I'm in the mosque. <laughs> Betty Wright said, no pain, no gain. Is that right? right, right. We need to give some money to back the Honorable Louis Farrakhan. Right. Yes, you think he wants to see New York on top? Yes, I think so, too. Yes, want to give a nice contribution to the number two poor today? Yes, sir. Do you want to? Yes, sir. Think we ought to give one? Yes, Not a big, giant contribution. It don't have to be huge. Don't have, no, no, not for the buckets yet, please. Don't, don't ask for the buckets. We need the plates now. 
We can get that floating with the money. That money you can release from your fingers and it glides into a secure place. Huh? A firm resting place on the bottom of that charity place. Brothers and sisters, we don't need to raise no whole lot of money. We just need to raise ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand ain't no whole. Hello? <laughs> Operator, I think I lost my connection. I didn't say all from you. You feel better now? Oh, how many wish they had the ten thousand dollars just put in there? All praise the oh, we we all right there. There's my brother from Bowie State College. Go on, black man, brother boy. Bowie State down in Maryland, down in the country. Down there. <laughs> the brothers, sisters, we need to just raise this money. Quickly, we need to know, is there anybody in the building who has a donation of $100, who start us off with $100 or more? And if we just get $100, 